But he moves enough athletically in the pocket to buy time and to set up that big arm. And, you know, I've seen him on tape and studied him a lot this year. And he's one of those quarterbacks that every game there's three or four throws I come away with and say he may be the only guy in college football that can make that throw. Two exciting players that we'll be watching tonight. We're just minutes away from kickoff between the Razorbacks and the Buckeyes of Ohio State. Right now, let's head down to the field. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for a moment of silence as we remember those who lost their lives in the recent tornadoes that hit the state of Arkansas and the Midwest. Now please join in the singing of our national anthem as it is performed by Capital Nashville recording artist Darius Rucker. By the dawn's early light, what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight, all the ramparts we watched were so gallant. doesn't get you ready, nothing will. Number six, Ohio State. Number eight, Arkansas. Big Ten, SEC. The Hogs and the Bucks. two teams ready to make their move. Nissan pregame shift is coming up next. Kowalczyk. Emergency, Kowalczyk. What is your emergency? The intern forgot the donuts for the status meeting. Bingo. Bang. That's right. We put a turbo in a sport cross. The all-new Nissan Juke. Innovation for success. Innovation for all. This Heisman memory is presented by Nissan. In 2009, Alabama's Mark Ingram brought the Heisman Trophy to Tuscaloosa, where despite the school's place as one of the most storied college football programs in history, no Alabama player had ever won the Heisman. The running back led the Crimson Tide to a BCS National Championship that season over the Texas Longhorns. Ingram rushed for 116 yards and two touchdowns in the game, taking home MVP honors as Alabama won its first title in 17 years. Nissan, proud partner of the Heisman Trophy. Nissan, proud partner of the Heisman Trophy and the Bowl Championship Series. For all its troubles, New Orleans stays true to its most honored tradition, celebrate life. 
quarterback Ryan Mallett hasn't seen a stage like this before, but he's primed and for good reason. He can flat out fire the ball, spread it around with force and finesse for the third ranked passing offense in America. But the Buckeyes don't budge. Only seven passing touchdowns allowed this year. And their Big Ten passion to prove themselves against the SEC. No telling how fearsome they'll be. Nothing's more fun than a face-off like this one. And what's the best city to host it? That's easy. The Big East. Right here in the All-State Sugar Bowl. The Nissan pregame shift is over. Ohio State and Arkansas are just about set in the All-State Sugar Bowl. The Buckeyes of the Big Ten coming off their seventh straight win over Michigan to end their regular season. Only one blemish on that season. The lone loss was to Wisconsin, but since then, They've won five games in a row. They come in with a number six national ranking. The Buckeyes in the BCS Bowl, eight of the last nine years, including six straight, led by Jim Tressel. Here they come. Jim Dressel tied with Bob Stoops for the most BCS appearances. Ohio State with nine, Jim with eight of those. The Razorback fans are fired up. And down in their tunnel, the 10 and two Razorbacks ranked eighth in the country, Bobby Petrino leading them to their first BCS appearance and their first Sugar Bowl game since 1980. Here come the Hogs. Petrino led Louisville to a BCS game and now a second team. He's gotten there and does he know how to coach quarterbacks? I'd say so. Everybody's geared up. The Superdome is alive with electricity. The Razorbacks and the Buckeyes. Both teams are ready. This has been the Nissan pregame shift. Kickoff of the All-State Sugar Bowl is coming up next. Fee Court is now in session. My daughters and I were going to see their Grammy and Grampy, but Amber fractured her leg and we had to change our flight. Then that airline added a $150 change fee per ticket. I sure did. $450. $450. Bucks. 450 bucks is a lot of money. That just ain't right. That's just plain wrong. It's an honest dollar, Your Honor. <gasps> Does his mama know what he's doing? Don't pay a change fee on top of a fair difference. Fly Southwest, the only airline with no change fees. Oh, hey, I was just out here kicking field goals because at Allstate, we love football. That's why we're proud to sponsor the Allstate Sugar Bowl. Congratulations to the Razorbacks and Buckeyes for avoiding mayhem on the field this season. At Allstate, we work hard to help you avoid mayhem at home and on the road. But if mayhem does happen, the 70,000 people of Allstate are here to help. So on behalf of all of us, enjoy the game.
in New Orleans. The coin toss is moments away. Archie Griffin, two-time Heisman Trophy winner, will be down there representing Ohio State University. And Jay Beckett, who played in the 1980s Sugar Bowl Classic. His son, Jake, a starting defensive end on this team. And his dad also played for Arkansas back in the 50s. So Jake's a third-generation Beckett playing for the Razorbacks as the coaches send their captains out to midfield. There's the two guys I was just talking about. And from the Atlantic Coast Conference, our referee in the middle of all of it is Jeff Flanagan. Let's go down to Jeff and the coin toss. Hey, gentlemen, welcome to the Sugar Bowl. Jim, let me introduce a special guest tonight. Representing Ohio State, Archie Griffin. Representing Arkansas, Jay Beckett. Please say hello to these men. Okay, Ohio State, you will call the toss. Coin is the All-State Sugar Bowl coin. Heads will be the Sugar Bowl cup. On the other side, the team logos will be tails. Okay, what are you going to call, sir? Heads. Let's call it heads. 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 I'm going to let it hit the ground, okay? It's tails. Arkansas has chosen to receive. Ohio State, you'll pick. Which way we want to kick? Your backs this way, please. So there's the coin toss. Ryan Mallett and company are going to get the football first. Final thoughts, partner. Here we go. Well, here's the keys of the game, I think. Number one is kick coverage. For Arkansas specifically, kickoff coverage. For Ohio State, punt coverage. Both have struggled at times. And then pass rush. It'll be critical for both teams, but they've got to do it differently. Ohio State has to rush Ryan Mallett like their hair's on fire. they got to make him uncomfortable. But Arkansas, when they rush Terrell Pryor, they've got to do it with discipline and vision. They've got to keep under control. All right. Well, let's check in with third member of our team. Before we kick it, here's Holly. I'm here with Coach Tressel, and Coach Tressel, as you left the locker room right now, what sense did you get from your team that all the distractions of the last week are behind you and you guys are dialed Our in? You guys are excited and proud to be at the Sugar Bowl. I mean, look around. This is a blessing, and we're going to have a lot of fun, and we'll see if we can play well. Their defense has 90 tackles for loss, 37 sacks. How have you prepared Terrell Pryor to handle this pressure? Well, you know, we've got to be smart. Sometimes you have to throw it away. Sometimes you have to step up and go. Uh, but there's no doubt about it. They thrive on minus yard plays, and we've got to try to minimize those. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Of course, Terrell Pryor, basically his coming out party was last year in the Rose Bowl. He was sensational, and he picked up at the beginning of the year where he left off. And on the other side, Bobby Petrino and his Razorbacks, a sensational season. Their only losses, 24-20 to to Alabama in an Auburn game where Ryan Mallett was knocked out of the game, and yet they still scored 43 points in a 65-43 loss. And right away, one of the most intriguing matchups is with Ryan Mallett and this Arkansas big play offense going against the defense that for the last several years under Jim Tressel denies people big plays. They make you earn everything. So will Ryan Mallett be patient in the biggest game of his career? Ohio State ranked number two in the country in total defense, number four in the country in pass defense. That's what Arkansas does well. Something's got to give. Drew Basil's got it teed up. Broderick Green is back deep for Arkansas. From New Orleans in the Superdome. The 77th All-State Sugar Bowl underway. Broderick Green has to take it over his shoulder about four yards deep, and he won't bring it out. So the Razorbacks will start at their own 20-yard line, led by the big fella. And the big eaters offensively up front to protect him and do a pretty good job of it. Here's how they look. Love and Grayson, Swanson, Bailey, and Dominguez. The backs and receivers. Nile Davis had a sensational year over 1,000 yards. Wright, Adams, and Hamilton, the wideouts. And D.J. Williams, one of the best tight ends. In fact, the Mackey Award winner. Very nifty guy in the middle of this offense. Third year starting in the system. Great hands. First snap. Play action. Mallet loads deep middle in and out of the hands of Joe Adams. Had he held it, he might have been gone. <laughs> well, this
This is going to be a test for Ohio State because as talented as this defense is, they have not faced a quarterback anywhere near as good as Ryan Mallett. And his first throw, there's no extra adrenaline on that one. It is right on the spot. Joe would like to have another shot at that one, I'll tell you. Ronnie Wingo checks in as an extra receiver. Mallett with an empty backfield, pump fakes, now pulls it down and throws across the middle, and another drop ball. And then a collision afterwards. Julian Horton, the freshman, should have had that one. Yep. Two good throws in a row by Ryan Mallett. And uh, again, this is the first BCS game ever for Arkansas. They've got a lot of guys who haven't played. They've played in big games in the SEC this week, this year, but this is clearly the biggest game for all of these guys. Bobby Petrino's on to the next play, but you could just see in his eyes that they knew they had it on the first play of the ballgame. Now they've got a third and ten. Mallet in the gun. Three-man rush, and they get close. He fires. This one's low and incomplete. D.J. Williams, the tight end, the intended receiver. Well, second down and third down, they got a little bit of pressure on Mallet, enough to make him uncomfortable, and that's what you have to do with him. Yes, he's also one of the five to be suspended Ohio State football players. Ohio State rolling up 28-7. Arkansas trailing 31-13. This is your ball game in the third quarter. Mallet going to lead him back. Jerry is right. Talk about dropping a dime for a 22-yard touchdown. Now, Arkansas wants to go for two. Lots of controversy over this decision in the newsroom. It's just not the right time. Now you get it. To DJ Williams, Great exactly decision. the right time. Great call. Way to go. Razorbacks trail by 10 before the fourth. Ryan Mallett trying to rally his troops. Here's Heron. Gets the handoff. But Anthony Leon stuffs him at the line, and then Heron is dragged down in the end zone. Let's get the universal signal. Where's my safety signal? Hey, the safety signal. Great stop by the Arkansas defense. First safety in the Sugar Bowl since 98. We had a safety last night. Hadn't had one in a BCS game in five years before that. Mallet to Jarius Wright. Breaks free, gain of 24. Leads to a field goal. It's a 31-26 game. Here's third and five. Pryor has got the great wheels. Escapes, but look at the speed. Turns the corner. Nine yards, good for the first down. And another third and long. This time third and 15. At their own 23, Pryor off the low snap. He's going to scramble to the right. And again, the good speed, but he's pushed out just shy of the first down. Got a decision to make, right? Up five, six minutes left in the fourth. They're going to go for it. On their own territory, going to go for it on fourth and short. Heron gets the handoff. Looks like he has it. But if he had the football, he would have had the first down. But you know what? He doesn't have the football. The ball is knocked away, recovered by Arkansas. They turn it over on downs. Arkansas recovers, but they can't capitalize. Buckeyes get it back. Quarterback sneak, first down. Two plays later, Pry would limp off. He would miss one play, but return. Ohio State has to punt, but that punt is blocked. Colton Miles Nash, the block. Arkansas recovers, but they couldn't pick it up, tantalizing right in front of them. Last chance for Arkansas. Here's Mallet, and he's picked off by Solomon Thomas. He, too, one of the five Ohio State players to be suspended. So you have to see the huge role all those guys played as they were allowed to play in this bowl game, and they won't be allowed to play in the first five games come next season. Ohio State able to run it out. Buckeyes go on to win 31-26. Terrell Pryor records his fifth Career game with 200 passing yards, 100 rushing yards, his third this season. Arkansas defense was allowing 23 points per game entering the game. Ohio State had that in the first half. And the first time the Buckeyes beat the team from the SEC in any game since 1988. Time now for the Ford BCS postgame report.